first of all very good morning sir good morning sir i'm really glad and appreciate sir that you have taken your time and effort for the interview process with college india so please give me a brief introduction about you sir so yeah, this is jitin narayan and uh, handling the education in india to this college since uh, past 15 years and uh, i have been seeing uh, many challenges in the field to impart quality skills and education in prosthetics and orthotics sure sir let me start with the interview question sir what are the best practice you offered by the department to the students which help them gain necessary skills uh, uh, this uh, field itself requires an evidence based practices um, uh, understanding and management uh, by providing the research oriented understanding and uh, day to day knowledge of updates sir how do you help the students to cope up with the competition because you know the competition is very high in the outside market as i said uh, technology keeps on changing so the student has also to keep themselves updated with the changing technology to compete in the market okay so sir, do you have any extra curricular activities or program to enhance the of, skill of the of, students of course as yeah, it is an year long program uh, and most of the um, campaigns or uh, the awareness programs awareness days are observed we are for, for example uh, hypertension day we have conducted our the bp as a means pvp environmental day our annual programs and other uh, day to day uh, like we give them and uh, various assignments other than the uh, related to the curriculum but yes still uh, uh, it will be uh, an extra curricular activity so that they keep uh, uh, themselves uh, other than the subject matter they must know uh, that uh, we have to uh, be ourselves equipped with the understanding of the related understandings uh, this usually these are the part of our extra curricular so sir when you came to the college what was your vision and now how are you trying to achieve the same yes uh, to impart the quality in one line to impart the quality to value based educations and uh, uh, this field itself requires a lot of discipline as uh, we routinely interact with the patients so the communication also is the key sir so what valuable advice would you like to give to students so that keep they yourself updated the keep yourself updated with the changing technology. Uh, like in any other field, the technology in prosthetics and orthotics also keep changing on a daily basis. So they have to, they have to be to keep themselves updated, and uh, as well as um, grow themselves in a corp- corporate like environment. So you held the key position of the education institute throughout the professional career. So what are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? a passion to impart a quality education in prosthetics and orthotics sir any suggestion would you like to give to the current youth and aspiring student uh, have a professional aspirations uh, with uh, keeping in mind that uh, uh, to survive in the professions uh, you have to continuously upgrade continuously on a daily basis Sir, how do you tend to establish a healthy relation and environment? Listening to their day-to-day concerns and uh, becoming uh, uh, becoming flexible according to their need, uh, understanding their concerns. Sir, what do you think uh, that sets your institution apart from other college and university? And how do you communicate the unique value proposition to students and other stakeholders? we as i said we have the one to one approach we we try to keep as much as possible one to one approach and uh, learning gap among the students and since we uh, our our student strength is not very high so uh, it is uh, rather easier for us also to continuously evaluate their learning gap and have one to one approach any valuable suggestion which you like to give to the current youth and aspiring students 
students who are aspiring to make their career in rehabilitation, like social rehabilitation, or to work, wants to work for the society welfare, uh, this course is a very very good course as it combines not only your engineering and clinical skills as well as to apply these skills into the social welfare also. Okay. And uh, the, our society needs a qualified uh, skilled professionals in disability rehabilitation. In, in Tamil Nadu itself, there is a high demand of these professionals. Sure. So thank you so much for your valuable time for the interview process with College Junior Sir. Thank you.